Hello and welcome to MyGenie.tv. This is David Childley and during this session I'd like to help you neutralise your negative self-talk. Because we all go through day to day with good intentions, we have flashes of inspiration and we have ideas where we think, yes, I'll give that a go. But then that little negative inner self-talk starts coming and questioning your every particular move. It starts saying, you can't do that, you're not good enough. Now self-talk was learnt when we were children. When we grow up, people around us chip away at our confidence and our self-esteem. And after a while of hearing others talking to us negatively, we learn to talk negatively about ourselves. When we try and do something and it doesn't work, we call ourselves names. In fact, we talk to ourselves in a way that we wouldn't dare let others, even our dearest friends, wouldn't have the guts to talk to us in a way that we talk to ourselves. So the simple technique I'm about to show you is an EFT technique. Now it doesn't involve any tapping, but what it does involve is some commitment from yourself for the next seven days. Now it's a very simple technique. There's no, no points or tapping points that you have to remember. There's nothing that you have to think about. All you have to do is locate the sore spot on your chest. Now across our chest and under our collarbone, we have a series of key acupuncture points. And somewhere around this area here on either side, if you just press very lightly with the tips of your fingers, you'll find a sore spot. And in EFT, we call this the sore spot. Now I've just located mine here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put two tips of my fingers on that sore spot and I'm just going to rub gently in circles. It's a very calming feeling. Take a deep breath and relax. Now this is a very, very simple technique. And whilst you're talking to yourself, when you find yourself talking negatively, I want you to continue to rub this sore spot. Because whilst you talk negatively to yourself, the action of rubbing the sore spot will help neutralize that negativity at its source. Now if for the next seven days, you can rub this sore spot 10 or 15 minutes before you go to bed, and then 10 or 15 minutes again the next morning, if you wake up tomorrow, feeling really negative and you feel like having a really good rant at yourself but at least make sure you're rubbing your, short, your sore spot at the same time otherwise it's a waste of a good rant so if you're going to put yourself down if you're going to tell yourself you can't do something start rubbing the sore spot because it will start collapsing that negativity because as we start talking negatively to ourselves, the negativity in our energy system starts to build up and as that happens, we feel more and more stressed, more and more negative. And if you spend your days or your evenings sitting in front of the couch, feeling a bit low, feeling a bit negative, don't go outside and have a cigarette, don't have another drink of wine, don't go and, go and grab some food, simply sit there and have a good rant in your head, but make sure you rub the sore spot. Now the sore spot can be located on either sides. And I will judge everyone by the same principles. If you make this commitment, if you take some action, it will work for you. I guarantee if you can rub your sore spot all day every day, especially when you're having a damn good rant at yourself, you will find it will start to collapse it. And each day that you go through, your self-talk will become less and less. And at some point, that, so that sore spot will be no longer sore. Because all of the negativity towards your internal self-talk has been released. And when you wake up in the morning, remember, Maybe you're brushing your teeth. Maybe you're on the toilet even and having a think to yourself. Maybe you're reading the newspaper or listening to some news and there's some negativity somewhere and you find yourself starting talking down to yourself. Go for the sore spot and just keep rubbing it. As you go through the post every morning, maybe there's a few bills there. Instead of opening them and thinking, Arr! just open them, smile, accept that that's okay and just rub the sore spot. You can even have a good rant at the bills. You can even have a good rant at yourself, but make sure that you rub in the sore spot whilst you're doing this, because it starts to collapse the negativity at its root source. Now, if you're in a real habit of talking down to yourself, I guarantee if you follow my recommendations and all day, every day, as much as you can, just keep rubbing that sore spot. You'll find it very relaxing and very calming. I also suggest you drink plenty of water over the next seven days, because water is amazing um, amazing substance to rehydrate you and it gets the energy flowing in your body. So make sure you go for that sore spot all day every day, especially when you're in bed at night 
and maybe you're thinking negatively about yesterday, what you didn't do today, or what you have to do tomorrow that maybe you're not looking forward to. Whatever is going on in your life at the moment that's negative, or whatever you're thinking about yourself in negative ways, make sure you don't miss an opportunity. So rub the sore spot. Because if you're going to constantly put yourself down, you are missing a massive opportunity by not rubbing the sore spot. So every morning, every daytime, and every evening over the next seven days, whenever you find yourself talking down to yourself, hit the sore spot and just gently massage that acupuncture point because that will send a vibration through your energy system that will help to neutralize your self-talk whilst it's happening. This is David Childe. I'd like to wish you the very best of luck over the next seven days in trying this extremely simple technique. You don't need to think or do anything apart from just recognize when you're talking down to yourself and go for that sore spot. This is David Childe. Thank you for joining me on mygenie.tv.